breath flute. Uh, we're looking at 3D printed flutes at this uh, flute cast. Um, and uh, that's the breath flute. We'll be looking at that a little later. We're going to do it chronologically. Um, and we're going to look at everything that is kind of not wood. And the, so the first thing we have that is not wood is this instrument over here, which is, um, I have two of them. They are epoxy flutes. Um, they're actually replicas of eagle bone whistles. I got a long time ago. And, uh, of course, um, folks can't, most folks can't own an eagle bone, an actual eagle bone, because they're protected. So we make these 3D printed um, replicas of them. And, of course, the first thing you do is turn it into a flute. Now, you'll notice this one has uh, three holes in it and a little mechanism up top, which is a fipple mechanism, and there is actually a little bit of wax in there um, to, form the, to form the fipple, and uh, it is playable. I'll give it a go here. Three-hole flute, eagle bone whistle. So that's, um, that's uh, an eagle bone whistle best I can do making the fipple. I made the fipple on that and uh, put together um, the little ramp that makes the sound and drilled some holes in some random places, and that's what I got out of it. So that's pretty cool. But what really got me started on uh, 3D printed flutes uh, was this instrument that I received um, as a gift from Rich DeBay, um, Northern Spirit Flutes in 2015. And I'll give you an overhead shot of it. Uh, it looks like this. It's an absolutely beautifully crafted instrument. It is a, an exact copy of the Hohe Fells flute, one of the oldest flutes we have in the world. And uh, it's not really playable, although uh, maybe some folks would be able to play it, uh, but I certainly can't uh, get a reasonable sound out of it. But it's absolutely gorgeous instrument. And this kind of got me started. I'll show some pictures of the original artifact. And that got me started um, in 2015, and uh, what really uh, inspired me was this flute over here, which is a, um, a bonsuri. This is a 3D printed bonsuri by Rand Mapala, um, uh, Malapa, sorry, and uh, he gave a presentation at the World Flute Society uh, convention in 2016. He 3D printed this flute, it's printed vertically. And uh, I'll show you a picture later how uh, 3D printed flutes work. And it's made of uh, PLA, uh, bioplastic, uh, fused with wood chips. Uh, it's uh, um, a material called wood fill. And uh, this, uh, this, this was the start. I think it takes him about 10 hours to print this. And then he spends hours and hours and hours sanding this instrument to get a very high quality bonsuri. And he actually uses these, uh, these 3D printed flutes uh, professionally. And uh, I'll attempt to get a sound out of it. I don't really play side-blown flutes, but I'll, uh, I will give it a go. Um, <clears throat> be kind. And that's enough. But you can see it's, um, 
It's very well made and a very high quality uh, flute. And that's what inspired me to go down this uh, 3D printed path. Uh, let's see. Um, I did uh, get an instrument, this instrument here, which is a Quistle, K-W-I-S-T-L-E, no H in it, uh, Q-Whistle without the H. And uh, it's uh, 3D printed in several parts. And I will um, give it a little play. We'll show some pictures of it. Um, and I will uh, I'll play it while some pictures are showing. Here we go. That's the Q whistle, and uh, that's actually available from Linstruments. Um, it was made, uh, designed in 2014 by uh, Donald Lindsay. I'll put the descriptions uh, in the credits at the end of this video, and uh, uh, also uh, in the comments uh, uh, on YouTube if you're watching this on YouTube. And uh, I'll give all the links to the uh, to where these are available. Um, the breath flute, um, the breath flute, uh, the head joint looks like this. Um, and I'll actually show the split version of the head joint, which looks like this. That's what it looks like inside. Uh, the yellow is printed as a separate 3D print, and then they are put together by the little uh, set screws. You can see holding the two parts together, and there's also a top to this. And my document printer is being a little funky today, so... Uh, let's use the overhead so you can maybe be able to see this better. There we go. And uh, so you print it in uh, 3D, print it in, in, in uh, three different parts, and you'll see a video of this. I'll show a 20-second video that I took. It's a 14-hour print, and um, I think uh, five people have downloaded this uh, free of charge. It's an open-source project. You can download it, put it on your 3D printer, wait 14 hours, and then have the parts. And finally, I'd like to uh, share my experience with uh, John Ortega and the poly flute. Uh, John, I met at a Flute Harvest uh, 2022 last year. Uh, he showed up at, uh, at the concert that we had, and uh, he performed for us. A uh, little plug for Flute Harvest. Uh, we get together for a week in Southern California, uh, in Encino, California, in the middle of October. We get a group of about 20, 20 flute players together, and we have a great time. Uh, there's classes, there's workshops, there's performances, uh, there's anything you want. So uh, Flute Harvest 2022, uh, fluteharvest.com, that's our little plug. John showed up uh, for, um, for the final concert, and I was able to chat with him about the poly flute. It's an amazing instrument. It's eight Native American flutes together, um, played together with kind of keys to turn them on and off. And uh, he makes it in 110 3D printed parts, and it takes him a week to assemble one of these. So uh, here's the video. We're going to close out this, uh, this flute cast with John Ortega and the poly flute. Okay, hello. My name is John Ortega. This instrument I designed and made, I call a poly flute, a polyphonic hand flute. Uh, and it sounds something like this.
these are actually Native American flutes. Uh, yeah, the they're front. both on Native American flutes. Yeah, they have a, a bird. With the bird, yes, and a terracotta bird. Has, bird. Uh -huh. And the uh, moisture. And the keys, the way they work on the back, are black and white. What are the black and the white? Uh, the, the black are uh, pentatonic. In the so that's the pentatonic scale. Yeah, the pentatonic scale. That's fantastic. In A minor, and our flute circle, we generally play in A minor, so just a shorthand for myself. Uh huh. And you've got a single breath. A single breath, yeah. And you to play all, all the notes. Very cool. A new invention. A new invention. John Ortega. Nice to meet you.